Hi, I'm Kieran Sutton, and when I'm not breaking 37-year-old school records, I'm usually watching SHIP Athletic supporters. Well, Bill, how did we get to 10? Not sure. We could have gone, you know, 10 ones or two fives or, you know, we could have just gone to 10, which we're at 10. That's where we're at. A lot of stuff along the way. A lot of hijinks. Really haven't been very good at being funny, that's for sure. No, not really. What are the highlights? Shippensburg Baseball wins three of four this weekend against Kutztown, a doubleheader sweep Friday, a walk-off win on Saturday at home. You can see Mike Marcinko stealing a base here. He leads the conference with 26 steals. The Raiders are now in fourth place, the final playoff spot in the PSAC East. Shippensburg Lacrosse taking on Edinburgh on Saturday from Rob Sports Complex. There's Allie Harkle Road with the goal, and then Sarah McLeod picking up the loose ball. She finds the net as well. Shippensburg outscores Edinburgh 6-4 in the second half, and the Raiders pick up a 13-10 win over the Fighting Scots. Tennis on Saturday in their final match of the season. They fall to Millersville 9-0. Perry is an extraordinary weekend for the track and field squads at Bucknell. Do you want to update the record books with yeah, me here? Let's do it. So let's go. Brian Pearson broke the all time PSAC record in the discus. It was a 45 year old mark set by a Millersville thrower back in 1981. He threw 181 10. Tam O'Hara broke a 32 year old school record in the women's discus. She threw 159 6. Kieran Sutton absolutely housed his 10K on Saturday night. 29-14, he set that school record. Caleb Bartlett broke his school record in the hammer, 195-6. Drew Adigaby, he broke the school record in the 200, 21-28. It's actually the third time, Perry, now in the last 22 days that we've broken our school record in the 200. Do you, you sure you got all that? Hey, how's it going, Bill? Hey, Karen, how are you? Um, you got a minute? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can stop. Cool. I can stop a stretch. All right, thank you. Hey, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, no, oh, hi, please. Okay, so you had an awesome run at Bucknell. Yeah, your 10K great. was a school record. Talk about leading into that race and what your goals were. Um, I knew, uh, based on some previous performances, that the record was a possibility and somewhere in that range, so based off uh, workouts and some longer runs, I was able to set it up. From where you started to where you're at right now at Shippensburg, it has to feel pretty good, your progression so far? Yeah, it's great. Never really imagined getting you to this point so far and then seeing further ahead. Talk about your group right now as a distance uh, It's pretty awesome. It's definitely the closest group I've seen since I've been here. Um, it gets pretty boring during a 10K, and just everyone was spread out around the track. Bernard had his camera in my face every lap. <laughs> People were doing push-ups on the side, just trying to entertain me. If you don't mind, three questions we ask all our athletes to stop by this fine studio of ours. First one, Reasoner or Kreiner? I guess Kreiner. Starbucks or Dunkin? Starbucks, completely. So do you like pickles, yes or no? Pickles aren't bad. I'm going to let you get back to your run, I guess, Karen. Right, but yeah, hey, I gotta go. Yep, hey, it's congratulations. Good seeing see you. Thanks. As we take a look at this week's schedule, we're going to do so in the style of Scenes from a Big Head. Post-its are sticking to each other. Yeah, so, so we got baseball coming up on uh, Tuesday. Uh, they're going to go out to the University of the Sciences out in Philadelphia. They're going to play them at 3 p.m. and uh, they're going to make them an offer that you can't refuse. So on, on Wednesday... Uh, we're going to have, um, oh, uh, track and field. Track and field is going to be on Wednesday against, uh, well, it's not against. It's, um, it's actually here at home. It's the ship you invite. Uh, it, oh, it begins at 3 p.m. Then on Friday night, we got a little baseball here in Shippensburg hosting Millersville. Then they'll go to Millersville on Saturday. Both of those double headers starting at 1 p.m. So we got the go to Westchester on Friday. The softball team will be at the Golden Rams 
for a, uh, a 230 PM double header at Westchester. All right, everyone, on Saturday, we're gonna be here in Shippensburg playing East Stroudsburg in softball. It's gonna start at 1 p.m. and we're gonna play two games, okay? All right, I'll see you then. And a beautiful good morning to you. We're gonna take a look at the upcoming games for Shippensburg. The ship team is going to go to Slippery Rock, located right around here in the western part of the state. And it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be comfortable, and it's gonna be a 1 p.m. game against the Rock. I hope you never get off on Fridays and you work at a Fridays that's always busy on Fridays. Chancellor Bennett, AKA Chance the Rapper. All right, so me and Big Head about to ride out for some softball on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Well, we're taking in a little softball here today at Rob Field. And uh, why don't we just check out what's going on around the park? Here's that two one swing and a miss. Now we go to two and two. Lessons with Ladney. So why is it called the home run? Why isn't it called the home trot or a home crawl or a home walk or a home stroll or a home stride? This has been Lessons with Ladney. Here with another special interview at the softball game, it's Caleb Bartlett who just set the school record for the second time this season in the hammer throw, 195 feet and six inches. Now what was that throw like for you, Caleb? Um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good meet overall. Um, I was just kind of feeling things out. Some really good competition there at Bucknell. Um, but I actually really wasn't expecting it to be another another big throw, but it kind of just came together when I was in the circle. And I was kind of surprised actually when I stepped down and realized how far it was. But. You had multiple teammates set school records, but Kieran Sutton also on this episode of Ship Athletic Supporters, what was it like to see him break a school record? It's always awesome. He works really hard, so I mean, it's always awesome to see your, your teammates um, you know, who put in the work and it's finally paying off. Did you ever play any baseball or like slow pitch softball? Um, I played baseball when I was real young, but it's been a long time. So if we got you out there, how far could you hit a softball? I'd be lucky if I made it into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Caleb Bartlett of the Shippensburg track and field team. Thanks, Caleb. Thanks. Appreciate it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, Blue told me you're going to have to leave. Disorderly conduct. Will you walk with me? I'm serious. You have to come with me. All right. See you, big head. Wow, heck of a day down there at softball today. We can't even take you anywhere, can we? What? What? Something about in your head? It's time for the start of the week. That makes sense. That's, that's what you're talking about. 2.35. That's not 2 minutes 35 seconds. That's actually 2 hours 35 minutes even. That is the time run today by Neely Spence Gracie. In her debut marathon, she was the top U.S. female finisher in the Boston Marathon today, running that time, finishing ninth overall in the elite women's race. We are so proud of Neely, and really kudos to you, Neely, for a heck of an accomplishment, and all the best in the future for you. Brayton, what's the weather like? Looking outside right now, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny for a while. Back to you, Bill. Well, thank you, Braden, for that report, and I thank everyone for tuning in. And, uh, well, tramps like us, baby, we were born to run.